During World War II, the continuing quest for advantage over enemies led to the development of both innovative and frightening aircraft designs, and the BV-141 will be remembered for its extraordinary uniqueness. In 1937, the Reich Aviation Ministry was looking for a single-engine reconnaissance aircraft with good visibility and good defensive emplacements. Despite not being involved in the competition, Blohm and Voss decided to design the plane under the guidance of chief designer Richard Vogt. This led to the creation of the BV-141, an aircraft with a unique asymmetric design, defying the conventions of the time. Although it proved to have excellent maneuverability, the plane was the subject of much controversy, and mistrust from engineers and authorities, but thanks to the support, of Major General Ernst Today, who was enthusiastic about the prototype, the manufacturing company was able to obtain an initial production contract. The aircraft had an asymmetrical structure with the windowed cabin positioned off-center to the right of the fuselage. Its shape closely resembled that of the FW-189 and could accommodate the pilot, observer and rear gunner. The BMW 801 14 cylinder, 1,600 horsepower radial engine gave it a speed of 410 km per hour, 410 miles per hour. It was armed with two 7.92 machine guns in front and two in the rear and four SC 50 bombs. The traditional approach in aircraft design, propeller-driven was symmetrical. Symmetry is important. It keeps aerodynamic forces constant along the fuselage, achieving stability and maneuverability, also make it easy to build and maintain. However, this approach had some disadvantages such as poor pilot visibility caused by the center engine and the p-factor effect. Under some circumstances, the rotation of the propeller generates side thrusts during takeoff and landing making them dangerous. Bloom and Voss design aimed to circumvent these problems by creating an asymmetrical design that would actually result in symmetrical performance and maneuverability. In the spring of 1941, during several internal flight tests, despite the plane's excellent flight characteristics, including the ability to perform stunts without problems, significant problems occurred. One test model, number 4, crashed due to hydraulic problems and difficulties with the ailerons. These difficulties caused obstacles in the optimization phase and led the ministry to cease production in favor of the Fock Wolf 189. The 26 machines produced were mainly used for training and as test vehicles in various missions on the Eastern Front. In conclusion, Despite initial skepticism the BV-141 proved to have excellent maneuverability characteristics. This shows how innovation and daring in aircraft design can lead to unexpected solutions that defy convention, and remain in history.